Hey guys, it's Flip, and today I'm going to do an unboxing and review of this battery-powered 6-inch mini chainsaw made by Alloy Man. So to be transparent, Alloy Man did send me this chainsaw in exchange for a product review, but I'm still going to give you an honest review. So what we're going to do in this video is go over the specs of this product, then we're going to see what all it came with, and we'll put it together and see how it works. Then I'm going to put it to the test out in the field, and then I'll give you my thoughts on it. And lastly, I'm going to do a little comparison between this chainsaw and another mini chainsaw I've done a review on. That's the Saker mini chainsaw. So first of all, let's go over the specs of this thing. So it's got a chain speed of 26.24 feet per second. It has a 6-inch bar. It comes with a 1-year warranty, and then it comes with two 20-volt batteries that are 2 amp hour. It also has a tool-free chain tensioner, so I'm interested to see how that works. So let's see what all this comes with. First of all, it comes with a plastic case, kind of thin plastic, um, but at least keep everything organized that you need for this little chainsaw. Got a couple locks on it and a handle. So you've got an instruction manual. You've got some gloves, and these are too small for me. I already tried them on, not to mention I like to wear thicker gloves when using a chainsaw. Comes with a spare chain, that's pretty nice. Some protective eyewear. Two 20 volt batteries. And then you've got the actual chainsaw. So one thing I'm noticing right away is it has a safety button you have to push in before you pull the trigger. And it actually has one on both sides. I know the little Saker chainsaw I have only has that on one side, which if you want to use that with your left hand, is kind of annoying to use that with your finger and then to pull in the trigger. So it's kind of nice that it has that on both sides there. Another thing I'm noticing is that it does not have an oil reservoir, which a lot of mini chainsaws don't. Uh, but one thing I noticed is that it did not come with any uh, bar and chain oil, which the Saker came with just a little bit. Not enough to last very long. I've used most of it already, but it did come with a little where this one didn't come with any. So it's made out of plastic with a rubber coated handle here. It has a nice guard to protect your hand right here. And it also has a rotating baffle to stop some of the flying debris when you're cutting. And here is the toolless chain tensioning system. To loosen this chain, first what you do is turn this plastic wing nut counterclockwise and then you can turn this yellow plastic nut underneath counterclockwise and that will loosen the tension. If you want to increase the tension, what you do is turn that yellow nut back clockwise and that will tighten the chain. Then you lock it back in place with the black plastic wing nut. If you need to switch out your chain, you can take this wing nut all the way out and take off this cover here and you will see the sprocket and then you can replace your chain. Now let's check out the batteries. Again, it says these are 20 volt, two amp hour batteries. It does look like they have an LED indicator on here so you can see how much charge it has left. It looks like these came fully charged, but I'm definitely gonna throw them on the charger first before I use it, just to make sure it's topped off. It looks like the charger has a little light on here as well to show you if it's charging or fully charged. So let's go ahead and throw one of these on here. Sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and get this charged up and then we're going to put it to the test. Okay, so I'm up at work in the field and I've been meaning to knock back some of these honeysuckles and other little trees for a while. So let's go ahead and put this thing to work and we'll see how long a battery lasts. Then I'll try it out on some bigger logs and we'll see how it does against that. Um, one thing I'm liking already is this little case that it comes in because as you can see it fits real nice on my mower so real easy to carry up into the field for work. So let's get to it. Let's put this thing to the test. Before we get started just a reminder this does not have an oil reservoir so you do want to oil up this bar and chain before every use. Now to do that I'm going to use ranch dressing. Just kidding this is just bar and chain oil put in a ranch bottle. Don't actually use ranch dressing on your chainsaw. Uh, but just putting it in a little squeeze bottle like this makes it a little easier to apply to the bar and chain. But make sure you put some bar and chain oil on this every time you use it. Okay. 
So as you can tell, this is working just fine on these little honeysuckle. Uh, one thing I like about it is the weight. This only weighs 2.9 pounds. So you can use this one-handed for a long time and your arm's not gonna get too tired. Something else I wanted to point out, it does have these little miniature plastic bumper spikes on here. It's kind of funny. I don't know how much you need these with smaller branches, but um, they do work pretty good. I'll show you how that looks using these on the honeysuckle. chain is starting to get a little bit loose again to tighten that up you just loosen this black wing nut and then you'll turn that yellow nut clockwise to tighten that up and then you'll tighten that wing nut back down okay so this is just a little one inch diameter piece of honeysuckle so let's do a quick speed comparison with the saker and the alloy man So you can tell the Alloy Man has a little bit better chain speed there. It's at 26.2 feet per second, while the Saker is at 19.7 feet per second. We'll do another little test. This branch is about two inches in diameter. So we'll start with the Saker. And I realize here I am comparing a four inch mini chainsaw to a six inch chainsaw, but it's nice just to have something to compare it to. Now, I don't know if you could pick up on that, but it sounds to me like that electric motor was struggling a little bit in the alloy man there. So this is about a three inch piece of honeysuckle. We'll see how they do with this. Again, you can hear that motor struggling a little bit. The alloy man claims to have a motor that is 755 watts and the Saker is 550 watts, but it sounds like the Alloy Man is struggling a little bit more. I've also done a full review on this little Saker chainsaw, so I'll put a link to that at the end of the video. In the Alloy Man's defense, I had been using it for more trimming, so the battery was a little more worn down and the electric motor was pretty hot at this point. So I gave it about 10 minutes to cool down and then we'll try them both out again. This piece is about three inches. So as you can see, it definitely started to do a little bit better once I let the motor cool down a little bit. And then I don't know if it was a combination of the battery going out or the motor still being a little bit hot, but then it started to cut out. So at this point, I think that first battery was done. Now this piece is a little bit bigger. This is almost four inches and this is some pretty hard wood. So I'm going to actually put a timer on this and put a fresh battery on the Alloy Man and we'll see how long it takes each saw to cut through this 4 inch piece of wood. So the Alloy Man does come with two batteries so I went ahead and threw that second battery on and we'll see how fast it cuts through this log. So 
So with a fresh battery, the Alloy Man cut through that a little bit faster than the Saker. So I decided to try it one more time. And this time, even with a fresh battery on it, the Alloy Man cut out. So I don't know what's going on, uh, if maybe the motor's still a little bit hot, um, or if it has a higher chain speed, but just not quite as much torque as it needs to get through these thicker pieces. But you can see it cut out there on me once. So then I went back to cleaning up some smaller stuff and for this task the Alloy Man does a fine job. Again it's got a 6 inch bar um, and it only weighs 2.9 pounds, the little saker is 2.4 pounds. So then I started to cut up a few little dead trees that had fallen over and right there you can hear the saw starting to cut out on me a little bit again. But I'll put a link to the saw under the video if you want to check it out. I do think it's a good product for just trimming up small branches. We have regular size chainsaws at my work, but honestly that's just kind of overkill when you're just cutting up these little honey suckle branches. Being able to throw it on the zero turn and use it one handed all day and not really get tired is pretty nice. Uh, the good thing about cutting one hand is you can use your other hand to hold the end of the branch like I'm doing right here and then you don't have to bend over again to pick it up. But the cutting out like it was doing right there is pretty annoying. So this is back to the Saker and I just wanted to show you that it eventually cut out on me as well. Um, I think that's just what you're gonna get with these battery chainsaws. At, at one point the batteries just start to run out and they're gonna start cutting out on you. The convenient part of them are it doesn't cost you any gas and you don't have to yank on them to start them and while the batteries are fresh they do a decent job. One little side note is that this Alloy Man saw is compatible with Makita batteries so if you have any Makita batteries laying around they will work with this Alloy Man tool. So that's it. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did please hit the thumbs up button for me and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.